welcome to this new tutorial. My name is Bruno Flavin. I've just released an article about the importance of labeling process and I'm going to show you how to use um, a tool name Label Studio um, in order to create a custom uh, data set to create a NER, a name entity recognition for Spacey. So for those who doesn't know, well, all the code is right here on my GitHub account. We have it here. Uh, I was inspired by this article, which was uh, made by a guy in, in Brazil, and it's pretty interesting. He's giving some explana good explanation, and also you have a Jupyter notebook. So basically, the idea is try to build up a NER that will recognize through a Portuguese text um, a Bitcoin. Okay, the word, the crypto, what he call an entity named crypto, and he will create this crypto. Uh, for those who doesn't know what is NER and they want to go more deeper in a definition, you can check the Wikipedia page. And basically, uh, if I go through the article, the idea was that I was looking for a, a tool to annotate my data set of text. Okay, and then um, Spacey got this tool named Prodigy, uh, but it's... I mean, it's paid, so you can use it if you're if you're ready to pay. But I wanted to have an alternative and hopefully a, um, a, a free one. So it's and what is interesting is that you can have well, it's very well documented. So you can use pip, brew, git, and Docker. And we're gonna use Docker. Uh, for those who, who don't know what is Spacey, I give you the, the link direct. And NER, you see, if you type NER, you can even have some information. If you check this video, like I was in this previous thing, you see that the University of Helsinki is located in Finland. So if you, you watch the video, you will explain. University, the NER is able to detect what are the entities. So University of Helsinki, for instance, is an entity. That's why it's in green and its um, organization. In Finland, it's a localization. Obviously, it's a country, so it will detect as a localization. Okay, and you have a lot also of uh, great uh, example integration tutorials, documentation made by Explosion, the, the guy who are behind Spacey. And by the way, I'm using Docker, like I said previously. So let's start directly. So I'm going to open two console IB in my directory right away so i'm going to delete this one because i'm going to redo the things all from the beginning yes it should be no this one this one too maybe i will keep some of the mistake that i made because i find it always interesting so let's start with uh i'm gonna go this way so let's start with this first part so i give you the link of the article that i'm inspired from and the github and let's do the things so making the directory so i'll be sure to be in this directory okay so i will put, I will put myself right away and here I will use this green, uh, this, uh, sorry, red uh, windows to launch um, the command for Docker. Okay, so let's get inside. Uh, so I would create right away this. <clears throat> just to make it clear and to have a specific uh, uh, yeah and then I launch it okay so let's first see how does it work so if I go in the readme so then it's available right here on the local address okay and then you need to so you need to just to create so it's a bit you need to sign up and I think it's here sign up and then you do whatever you want you use the password you want as it's not in production it doesn't matter then it create an account and then you can log in and so we're going to create few annotation from different sources 
okay we are here and we don't have any project so let's create a project right away and let's say this is the nurse spicy one i'm gonna go for the the as you see i've already made so let's first with the one i was given right here in this example so it would be in portuguese what is interesting right away and i focus on this uh, you have the way to upload you can you can upload a lot of type of content for the moment we will upload text but what is interesting is that you can upload audio video and also this part is very interesting as you see that is much more extended than prodigy which is only focused on nlp task uh, this tool level studio can be used for a many 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 machine learning process meaning that you have natural language processing that's the one we're going to use name entity recognition but you have also audio if you want to uh, to to annotate audio you have video you have a lot of things so that's a good one because it's a very um, how do you say transverse tool i mean that can be used in many use cases so don't wait anymore so i will say data import i will upload i go straight away in this uh, i think that this one so i am gonna upload so i select list of stats because they're gonna be this text is a simple text let me see it's right uh, it's right 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 uh, right here it's a simple list of uh, sentences in Portuguese. And you see, the, the, we, you have Bitcoin and somewhere. So then I need to select the labeling studio. And like he said in his uh, documentation, I think it's crypto. He called it crypto. Yeah. So we're going to use crypto. You can do whatever you want from now. You can use the code, visual code, but we will do that like this. And I will remove. Be sure to have text and text, right? As it as it's text, it's text. So it doesn't matter for the moment. But we will see in some other case it's many important. You can choose and pick up another color if you need. For instance, you can go for let's say pink, okay? And then you save it. So it's gonna down. It's gonna upload everything, and you're gonna you 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 can start to have uh, to. How do you say to annotate? So, for instance, how do you do that? Well, uh, let's let's do another project, and I will come back later on this one. So you can add any type of uh, any type of text. Here it's in French. I have also yes. Sometimes you have the you may have not you know this text file with the link with the line, you may have some uh, text from, for instance, I've taken a sample from uh, Reddit and this sample has much more, is not the, for, the correct format to import it directly to, um, to Label Studio. So I've made a small script. Uh, I think this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna activate a data and I'm gonna put myself right away. So I will go from base in Anaconda to this environment that I've already created. Uh, for the moment, it doesn't use many things. It's just using JSON, Panda, and whatever. And then I will convert. You see, I've already selected this, this, uh, this uh, file, and it will translate to, let's say, three to show that it's made. And we're going to import it right away. So that's pretty easy it's just a way of uh, converting things ah, apparently it's not here i'm not in the correct sorry let's get there oh, now i can solve and then i can look right away and then it would say okay you have made this and then this is the correct this is a correct format, so I can directly insert. And this one I've taken from a guy named Smart, uh, Tim Smart. It was GitHub. Uh, he's made a great, yeah, that's this one. It's from, uh, I can't remember, and I think you can find it, Space. 
see. Oops, sorry, if I can type correctly. Yeah, this one. He's explaining everything and you can find the video on YouTube. Whatever. Uh, so this time it's going to be ingredient. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say, okay, uh, I'm going to import it right, right away. Style Studio. So that would be food, for instance. That's another project that I'm making. And then I always select. And this time I'm, I'm going there to grab the one I've just created. That's in the four. No, sorry. That's in the... Uh, that's in the three. Yeah, here we go. And then you will upload it and I do the same thing, label. And then this time I'm going to use, for instance, just to show you that you can use, uh, that's this one, I think label. Yeah, I made this one, for instance. So it's just, it's useless to have this, but all these elements, but you have crypto, for instance, and I'm going to convert crypto to ingredient because I want a ner um, a ner that recognize ingredient and I don't need all these one but for instance oops sorry I forget to yeah uh, that's yeah that's that I was uh, I was not correct in this and then I can go back to visual and maybe change to Let's say purple. Okay, same thing is going to import, but you have much more annotation. So the more you have annotation, the more the sample will be interesting, uh, and you um, and your machine learning system and your process and your pre um, your inference will be great. Uh, it's given here, so. What we're going to do now with Label Studio is that crowd annotation and then model training we will do in the second video and then we make prediction. I made even a simpler, uh, a simpler, uh, I think this one, yeah, you see, I made a very simple, so we're right here, we are talking about unlabeled data, we're going to down, we're going to upload this unlabeled data. I'm the guy, the labeler, but you can be several. And also, there's an online version of this tool, so you can share your work with people. And then we're going to provide label data, and then we're going to export it then and make this training loop in the second video. And then we will have the model with Spacey, and we will be able to make inference. Uh, or in this case, we have a nerd, we have a custom nerd, okay? So let's try to make some uh, some Bitcoin things. So let's start. So it's a different way to, to get in to get into. You can do that. And then so it's in Portuguese. Right here, there's no crypto mention. So you just submit. Right here, you see you have a country location, but there's nothing about uh, Bitcoin. This one, there's nothing about Bitcoin too. And this one, I think, uh, yeah, you have Bitcoin, you have elements that are crypto. So to, to flag it or to annotate it, you need to go to select crypto and then select the text inside. And then you will repeat this operation for all where it's so crypto is here. And it's pretty boring and pretty um, time consuming, but you need to do that. And the more you do it, the better the, inf the label processing will be interesting. So the more your, your stuff will be, uh, I mean, the, the more you have label example, the more your, the nerve will be uh, performing, okay? Uh, right here, I have only nine I think I have only nine, so I'm not going to go through all, but I have only six elements. And you see for the, the other project, it takes much more time. You have to check ingredient in 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. So it's uh, pretty long. I'm not going to do it. And that's, uh, well, that's, that's, this part is very important. And I was wondering how can, uh, how can I make me my own 
uh, name entity recognition. So for instance, here I will say, okay, butter. Uh, so I check butter is an ingredient. Uh, let's say, I don't even know, cream. Cream is an ingredient. And so, uh, yeah, you have garlic, for instance. So I click ingredient. So you have to select first here and then butter. Uh, so I do the contrary. You need to select ingredient and then butter. Okay. So you, you have to do that for all these elements. And then when you're done, you, um, you have to export it. And this is where you have many, many, many type of of format which is great so you can have even conlu i give some explanation about conlu but we're going to go for json okay so i'm not going to export it right away i will do um i will work directly in the second video with this export with this annotation made but i can export anyway just to show you the format you see so uh what was uh, yeah, you see, uh, I should go bigger than that. Crypto. So I just have one, but it gives exactly uh, the position and stuff like that inside the the text. You see, Bitcoin has been has been selected as crypto, and that's you can even think about making it with the like I'm using. Um, visual code or you can even think about using directly sublime text but it's pretty boring that's the reason why this kind of tool exists okay uh, so thank you for watching i will come back on the second video with the annotation made and to go through then uh, this element because when you export it when you export this json it's not in the format that is supported by spacey so to in order to leverage on your annotation you need to convert uh, your json into a format that spacey is enabled and we're going to go then go in this area where we're going to train this annotation and then convert it thank you for watching see you for the second video if you like my work don't forget to subscribe and you can find anything on my GitHub account. See you then.